Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into two applications, tr trying to compare them even though they aren't that similar, but the point of these two applications are in my eyes doing a lot of the same things, like the point of them are the same with one huge difference. The first one focuses on uh, privacy, the second one focuses on collaboration, and we are going to take a look at them, see what is different and what is the same, and we are going to start off with the pricing of each of these, and we are starting off with Sublime. Um, because Sublime is still in a really early stage. Uh, it is still early access as of me filming this video, but it might be out by the time I have uh, published it. Uh, they are working on uh, launching it publicly soon, but Sublime uh, has a membership model, which just means a subscription. A hundred a year is the price, but you have right now uh, sort of like pay what you can from 50 to 100 I think it is on the yearly plan um and the lifetime pass is uh from 300 USD that is the cheapest one but you can pay more if you really want to support the development of this uh when it comes to my mind, you have a few plans. They actually have quite a few. They have the bookmarker uh, plan, which is great if you just want a place to save bookmarks. No AI features, but just a useful bookmarking tool. But you also have the student of life, which is uh, around seven each month, seven USD. Uh, unlimited cards, intelligent bookmarking, AI image tagging, smart spaces, serendipity, and 100% private. So this is uh, what a lot of people will go for. This is the monthly. If you pay yearly, this is 69 USD. And the mastermind plan is 120 USD each year or 12.99 each month. I actually used, um, used, uh, my mind until as my only note taking app until around uh October November but this gives you everything in the student plan and I was paying for the mastermind plan this gives you advanced AI reading mode so you can read uh, entire articles article backup video support same vibe feature which is if you have an image and you click same vibe it will bring up all the images that are similar you will have to have a lot of images for this to work but it actually does an amazing job you get custom iOS icons and they are actually really beautiful AI summaries PDF analyzer and again a hundred percent private. Uh, and let's jump into the application, starting off with Sublime. So I personally uh, ended up using uh, Sublime. Um, and the only reason, full disclosure, only re uh, reason I ended up doing it was uh, just because uh, I got the, uh, I got the, uh, premium plan or lifetime plan as a gift since I covered this application uh, a few times last year and it isn't that the application isn't any good uh, I really like having it as a part of my workflow and one of the reasons why I removed my mind uh, was that it was really privacy focused it was really hard to share things uh, and the last reason was that it it wasn't necessary for me to have a place just for inspirational things. I could use my note-taking app for uh, that. Uh, but I have uh, figured out that uh, it might actually be good to have something like this. But with that out of the way, uh, I just wanted to mention uh, that so you know that I have been gifted uh, the lifetime plan and that I have used uh, my mind previously but uh, I went I think three and a half four months without a tool like this until I started using uh, Sublime again and testing it out and I really liked it uh, and then I uh, got the uh, got the uh, uh, I forget what the name of it is uh, I got the lifetime plan uh, for free so I decided to put it uh, into use as an inspiration tool but the way this works is that uh, you can uh, find things so I can search for things I'm actually not sure what is inside of here now uh, but if I just search for you 
uh, and I press enter, I get uh, all of the things that are uh, <laughs> has something to do with you, but I can also ask it a question. So what is productivity? Do I have anything about that? So that brings up my what is productivity collection. It brings up actually answers to that question uh, from a lot of different places. So these are all in my what is productivity, um, in my what is productivity collection. Uh, and again, it brings up a lot of stuff from the books I've read. Uh, one important difference between my mind and Sublime is that my mind actually has a Kindle and a Readwise import. Uh, Sublime has a Readwise and Kindle import. I'm not sure what I said, but uh, Sublime has it. My mind does not have any import features. You can't actually import anything into my mind, but Sublime has a Kindle and a Readwise. Sublime works in cards, so does my mind actually, but uh, you also have collections, which I tend to call collections like smart folders. It is folders uh, that you can uh, put things inside of. So they are actually quite similar to folders here and you can put different things inside of here. Um, you also actually have a canvas feature where I can actually turn my uh, third, my collections uh, into uh, a canvas of a whiteboard um, and drag things around. That is a really cool feature and I can just add a new canvas from here as well. It doesn't actually have to be any of uh, these uh, collections. I can just start all over. One other thing uh, that is really important to remember about, um, about Sublime is that uh, it is a shared knowledge, um, a shared knowledge uh, space, not only for yourself, but you can share your knowledge and other uh, others can actually um, look at the things you have shared. So if I just go into here, you can see that there are a lot of things and I can search for within other people's knowledge as well. So let's say I wanted to write about what is productivity. I could just search for it here as well, productivity, and it will bring up uh, things from other people's libraries. So these are things I've already saved. And here I have things I can actually save. Productivity is about how much you accomplish. Uh, this is from Slow Productivity. I'm actually currently reading this. Productivity is about effectiveness first, not efficiency. So there are a lot of cool things you can do with this uh, and add different things to your own library. I, I use this application personally as a place where I have a lot of design inspiration. As you can see, uh, some quotes, uh, a lot of things that inspire me. If I'm looking for inspiration for a project, for something I'm working on, I start in Sublime. And that was actually the same reason why I used my mind, but my mind is a little different. So my mind focuses on, um, focuses on uh, you and only you. Privacy is really important. And one of the selling points uh, for my mind is that you don't have to curate for anyone because that can happen when you use an application like Sublime that you, even though you can keep a lot of your notes just to yourself, you don't have to share things. But I, and I think many others find themselves like not capturing everything they want because it is your you sometimes feel like you are curating for someone. So uh, that is what uh, my mind is trying to remove. If I click into here, you can see that I get a TLDR, uh, <laughs> a good one. I think this is from my video about four months ago. So uh, I actually used my mind around four months ago. Uh, probably a little over four months ago. Here you have a uh, like color, uh, the color palette. I really loved this feature. And um, here you have the same vibe. It won't work for me uh, for two reasons. I haven't upgraded in my mind. And secondly, I only have three things inside of here. But the way this works is that I uh, put something into here, I capture it and it gets a tag, so it automatically gets tagged by the AI. I can remove things, I can add new tags, I can add notes, uh, but uh, the AI does actually a good job at um, 
a good job at uh, tagging things and with AI getting just better and better this will keep on getting better and better uh, but you can download this image I can share it but this only allows me to share a private link for 24 hours then it will uh, disappear again that is why I ended up uh, going away from uh, my mind that and the pricing um, because it felt expensive when I then needed to have another uh, note-taking application just to be able to share things. So that was my only issue with it. Uh, but for a lot of people, that isn't uh, important. You have uh, spaces where these are basically smart folders. So I can say that if something is tagged uh, red and shoe, it will end up in a collection that is named red uh, shoes or space so basically smart collections in many other applications you also have this serendipity feature you have to have 50 cards for this to work but it brings up uh, different cards and you can decide whether or not you want to keep or forget it uh, but i feel like um my mind has a much simpler workflow uh and it does it does much more for you like it is it auto tags things for you. You never have to organize it. Uh, it works well with written notes. You can do written notes inside of Sublime as well. Uh, but uh, it is just really beautiful. Like I can go into focus mode and it looks really good. That is one of the things I really liked about my mind is how beautiful it is. It is probably the most beautiful note taking app on the market. When it comes to which one of these I would recommend, it really depends on what you need. So if you are a designer, for example, I would prefer my mind because of the same vibe feature, because of the color palettes you get. Uh, if you um, if you just want a place where you can save everything, uh, just everything that inspires you and go back and look for it and do deep searches because that is something you can do inside of my mind so i can search for red then i can search for object shoe and i will get red shoes that is the only example i can come up with today but basically um if you want that then my mind is probably the best choice for you if you want a bookmarking tool a note-taking app and uh, a place for inspiration, I would recommend going for the mastermind plan, the $12.99 uh, plan. Uh, and you could also have your reading list inside of it there. Uh, but uh, if you just want a place to gather inspiration, you can get away with paying for what is called the student of life, I think, uh, the $6.99 plan. Um, so you can pay uh, for... Uh, you can pay for that. It is actually called uh, Student of Life. I think the pricing on that is quite good. Uh, but if you are looking for uh, one of two things, either you really need to share things uh, that is really important to you, uh, or you need a whiteboard. It is actually three things. You need a whiteboard for all of the things you've captured. Or the third one is that you just want something to substitute like social uh, media uh, consumption you feel like you spend way too much time just scrolling social media you could scroll something like sublime instead so if you're looking for more of that an import feature is really important to you then uh, sublime is probably better so what i would say is that sublime is better for a specific set of people so if you're a writer if you need a lot of sharing if uh, you need whiteboards then I think sublime is better but sublime is also in an earlier stage so just keep that in mind well my mind is more tailored towards almost everyone and with the different plans like if you just need bookmarking you can get a beautiful bookmarking tool if you um need a fully fledged note taking app you can get that so i feel like uh, it is more versatile but that is just my personal opinion if i had to choose today uh, i would probably go for uh, sublime uh, even if i wasn't given that uh, 
uh, that lifetime plan, I would probably go for Sublime for that simple reason that I need to share things either with my uh, family, friends when I'm discussing things uh, or trying to show them an idea I've had for a blog post, a YouTube video, or uh, at my uh, job, whenever I have a crazy idea, I gather a lot of things, I need to share it with people. Uh, and what happens is that I just share the whole collection, they go through it, and we end up moving some of the things into uh, our our shared uh, knowledge graph at work. So that is why I ended up using Sublime because that sharing ability is really important to me. And you also have to keep in mind that Sublime is in an earlier stage, but uh, my mind is and will forever be one of the most beautiful applications on the market. That covers it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching.